Mac Ryan has officially been traded to the Indianapolis Colts and for only a third round pick. Please. Do the Colts step forward in the conversation due to this new move? I got to say, yeah, uh, actually easily at this point, because you look at, you know, Matt Ryan's entire career. He's never had an offensive line. Uh, he's never had a consistent running game with a smart, uplifting front office who actually knows how to draft. Take it back to the Super Bowl year. Uh, that was good overall drafting wise. <clears throat> excuse me, and especially with the run game. And you look at how Indianapolis can specifically draft T.Y. Hilton, uh, Michael Pittman, obviously Darius Leonard, Quentin Nelson. Those are all out of, 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 excuse me, of a succession of drafts over the last few years. Um, now, you also look at the fact that, you know, addressing the offensive line, the Colts did give up 32 sacks last year. So that was 10th best in the NFL. That's going to be a major upgrade for Matt Ryan, no doubt. The Falcons gave up 40. Now, that is the 18th best. But for me, 18th best O-line to 10th best O-line, that, that, that is an X factor. That is potentially a game breaker to be in, in a game ahead in the postseason or to even be able to make the playoffs in a critical moment of your regular season. Um, and now you look at the fact that it's been far worse for Atlanta in those recent years, speaking of the offensive line. And even with the Colts being the 10th best O-line last year uh, with sacks given up, that was on a down year. The line is getting older. They've still got guys out there, so I'm sure they'll go and, you know, knowing who they're bringing in with Matt Ryan, a guy needing protection who is clear you know, leaps and bounds better when he's got an offensive line. They're going to have to focus on that out there in Indianapolis to uh, really make that a priority. Uh, excuse me for Matt Ryan. But now you look at the fact that the year that Jonathan Taylor just had, Matt Ryan literally walks into a solution that helps him, even if the offensive line is bad, but you couldn't really have a bad O-line because the run game is so good. Jonathan Taylor, young running back, still on a rookie deal. He's going to get a nice payday, but he's not going to have to clean the bank out, I feel like, maybe like a Henry, like an Ezekiel Elliott. Will he have that type of claim? Yes, but hopefully for Ryan's sake and for the franchise that he's not going to have to clean him out. Um, and specifically, again, that running game for Matt Ryan is going to be major. He's never had a running game, really. He's never had an offensive line, really. And we've talked about that time and time again when it comes to Matt Ryan. Um, now, you look at the defense, of course, talking about for, for Matt Ryan's situation. They were about B-graded, in my opinion, 16th in yards, 9th in points. When was the last time Matt Ryan had this type of production? The Falcons last year were 26th in yards and 28th in points. And realistically, I really wish the best for Matt Ryan. Um, I think he's one of the most mechanically sound, most underrated quarterbacks in the NFL. I said it before we went live. Y'all might call me crazy what whatever type of fan if the saints would have made calls on matt ryan i would have been okay with that there are plenty of teams in the league i had been saying that the colts that the vikings were the type of team the two teams specifically that needed to jump in and trade for matt ryan i hope he's got a peyton manning type of sunset ride off i hope he's got a tom brady type of, type of spark i hope he's got a matthew stafford type of spark he deserves it he rode for a city in really a stafford type of situation but did you know of course, significantly better, but not by much in terms of the entire landscape of the NFL. I'm happy for Matt. I definitely think they take a step forward into the conversation. Might not be a contender, but they take a step forward after this move. I mean, I think they absolutely take a major step forward because after this move, from what we've seen out of the Tennessee Titans, we don't know what the health of Derrick Henry is going to be. Julio Jones is gone. Don't know that Robert Woods is actually a viable replacement for right. him. I mean, they're absolutely the favorite to win the AFC South now. I mean, that automatically gives you a playoff berth and to host a home playoff game. And with the power struggles going on in the AFC West and AFC North, they could easily follow the Titans blueprint of last season by winning that division and having the top spot in the AFC because these other teams are running the gauntlet and beating each other up. But I mean, we just look at how much of an upgrade that he is from the Colts. They went nine and eight last year with Carson Wentz. He only had two 300-plus yard performances the entire season. I mean, that, that is less than impressive. The dude threw for 3,500 yards in 17 games. That wouldn't have been impressive in a regular 16-game season, but he got an extra game, and that's still all he was able to muster up was 3,500 yards. I mean, he posted up games of under 100 yards passing. He actually got outgained by, by Jonathan Taylor in two of those games. I mean, that, that's sad. Then you look at Matt Ryan over there with a much lesser roster, zero running game because he had a running back playing wide receiver and everything else that could possibly be played by one player on one side of the ball. Still threw for 3,968 yards and led a bad Falcons team to seven wins last season. So they were still damn near as good as a much better Colts team because the Colts quarterback just completely let them down, which is why they got rid of him. 
To me, there's absolutely took massive steps forward in this conversation. 